Welcome to the data deck. So today we are going to discuss about how to install Airflow scheduler in Windows. So before we get into it, I already made an Airflow introduction video and many other Airflow videos in my Airflow playlist. You can find that link in the description box of this video. Okay. So Windows is not allowing us to install this Airflow directly. So instead we have to install something called WSL in Windows, which is Windows subsystem of Linux. So this is called WSL. So this is by default, there is an option that we can enable in our Windows system and then we can go ahead with the installation. So this will install a Linux Ubuntu operating system on top of your Windows machine. And then in that WSL system, we can able to install Airflow and in your Windows browser, you can able to access your Airflow and you can schedule all your jobs in Airflow in Windows with the help of WSL, that is the Linux. So the first thing what you have to do is so you have to search for turn Windows future on or off. Just type this in the search and you will be getting this control panel future. Just double click it and this window you can able to see. If you scroll down, you'll be seeing something called Windows subsystem for Linux and by default it has been selected. If it is not selected, just select this and click OK. Now you have to open your command prompt in an administrator mode. So just right click your command prompt and then run as administrator. Now what you have to do here is you have to execute WSL space hyphen hyphen install. So this will install the Linux operating system flavored called Ubuntu and you can execute this here. So in my system, I have already installed this Ubuntu. It says like Ubuntu is already installed and for you, it may take some time to install it, but by the end it asks for username. That is an username for your Ubuntu Linux system. You can give any username and then it asks for password. You can give any password which is very comfortable for you to remember. Okay. Now, once you enter into this, right? So WSL iPhone install, I executed it in Windows command prompt, but then it entered into Ubuntu. You can able to see here. Now I'm into my Linux. Not only that, you can even search for the app called Ubuntu after the installation, you can able to get this app as well. This is this will again open a command prompt. This is Ubuntu based command prompt. So or you can go via Windows command prompt and you can execute this WSL iPhone iPhone install. You will get into Ubuntu terminal if it is already installed or else it will be get installed. Okay. Now I will use this terminal. Now what is the first thing that you have to do is just execute this command sudo apt update just to update the packages. Now it is asking for the password. This is your operating system Ubuntu operating system password which you have created during the installation of Ubuntu OS with the help of WSL install command. So I'm just entering into it. So I'm just updating the packages. Once it is done, you have to install the sudo apt install python3 python3 iphone pip so we need this pip package so that's why we are installing this enter okay it's been already installed for me for you it takes some time now we are creating a virtual environment in python so we create the sudo pip3 install virtual environment so in python world it is very common to create virtual environment for doing specific installations so now for Airflow, I just create a virtual environment within my Linux OS, which is on top of Windows. Fine. So now I just create it. So once you create this virtual environment, what is the next thing that you have to do is you have to create a directory mkdir airflow underscore project. So if you see, this is also already created. It says file access. Now cd airflow. Get this. Fine. Now, we actually created the virtual environment, but we haven't activated it. So now what you have to do, just create and activate. Virtual environment is the command which you installed already. Now you are creating a virtual environment with the name of airflow underscore venb. Now go back and then enter. So now this installs the virtual, this creates the virtual environment. And now you have to activate that with this command. So every time when you want to enter into your virtual environment, you have to activate and you have to enter. It's not one time. So virtual environment creation is one time, but to activate it, you have to do every time when you get into the Ubuntu or whenever you open a new Ubuntu terminal, the command prompt. 
okay so now if you see you can see here airflow env the virtual environment is created so the so previously it starts with ubuntu at gautam but now it is into the virtual environment okay, okay. now what next now we have to install apache airflow so i am installing apache airflow version 2.6.2 and the equivalent python version whatever it is compatible for it so we are creating something called constraint url in the airflow we have something called constraint and that means so we mention airflow version and the python version and the constraint will take care of for this particular airflow version what compatible python version has to be installed that will be taken care by this constraint so copy these three lines you can find all these installation steps in the description box of this video you can able to see the github link in that you can take all the steps let me copy all these three lines and back and then i'm just going to execute it and with all these three steps i'm forming an installation pip command so this will actually get the variable name of airflow and the constraint and this will install the airflow version and the compatible python version for it okay now the installation will get start okay it's done now what is the next process you have to export airflow home this is like setting an environmental path and variable so you just need to set it here so export airflow home there is a file called bash rc in ubuntu so that you don't want to export it every time when you open a session so it is like a permanent thing but you don't want to go for a permanent set of environmental path and variable then you can just execute this export airflow every time when you open a terminal okay so now we did it now we initialize the database okay airflow comes with the integrated database because airflow need a database to store all the metadata information for example what dag you created what job you created whether the particular dag is running or failed or it has been successful status and whether the dependencies are running fine so entire metadata information about airflow the jobs and dags will be get stored so airflow need a db to do it so by default airflow comes with sqlite and if you want to override that with mysql or oracle yes you can able to do for now i just start the integrated database the sql light i'll just initiate it so when you execute this command you can able to see the sql light you can see you can see here db sql light so airflow.db in this path the airflow metadata will be get stored now what is next i have to start my airflow web server because airflow provides a web ui for you and once you start the web server only you can able to see the web ui so web ui is there where you can start the dag start the job stop the job kill the job restart the job so you can do everything with the web ui airflow support cli as well command line interface but still people use web ui fine so for that i am just starting my airflow web server in a port called 8085 and if you think this port is busy the web port you can change it to anything 8086 whatever it is let me just run here so now it will start the web port now what next we have to do is you have to start the scheduler i haven't started the scheduler i have just started the web server so now i have to open another window just type ubuntu you will get a new terminal now whenever I, you open a new terminal as i told you what you have to do is you have to activate the environment every time when you open it okay so if you run it see it gets into the environment the virtual environment now what next is you have to start the scheduler airflow space scheduler copy this run so now we started the airflow scheduler also the web server and we have one more thing to do which is you just go to ubuntu again yes and you have to set a username password because whenever you get into this airflow web ui it asks for username and password but that is an optional but i'll tell you that as well so now we opened a new terminal so we have to activate uh, environment the virtual environment in every new window you open now this is the command the username and the first name last name and role role should it's a it's a predefined word actually role so and then email could be anything tested admin i have given it could be anything a dummy value so once you execute this it will ask for the password so where you can set the password so now just copy this and paste it here i already created it so if you see so if you see here it is asking for the password for the username admin so you can give any password this is the password you have to use to log in into your web ui in the airflow so let me give root enter and one more time enter 
fine so now the admin user has been created for me it says it is already access because i have already created and i created a username and password now let me go to my chrome i just type localhost 8085 is the port number that i have given enter so now you can able to see the ui so it is not asking the password and username to me because i have already logged in but for you it will ask you have to give admin and the password whatever you have given right so now you got the ui so now we have seen how to install airflow on top of windows with the help of linux and that's only in my upcoming video i'll be teaching you how to schedule a big data job or a python job or a sql job or a spark job whatever it is so just please stay in touch with my playlist and we do have a lot of videos like big data cloud computing uh, python java just go to my channel and have a look and if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues thanks for watching